Hi, I'm Jackie from IELTSJackie.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to develop your answers for part one of the IELTS speaking test. The examiner will be looking for a good range of vocabulary and grammatical structures. Developing your answers in different ways will ensure that you impress them with your language skills. We'll look at seven ways that you can extend your answers, which will give you more than enough options for effectively answering the different types of questions you might get asked in part one. They are explanation, combined details, examples, frequency, contrast, past comparisons, and the future. I'm going to work with just one question and create seven different answers so that you can clearly see how to use each method. I'm not going to worry too much about paraphrasing the question in these answers as I want to focus on other aspects of the sentence structure. Here's our question with a very simple answer. Question. How often do you socialise with friends? Simple answer. I socialise with friends several times a week. This answer's okay but it's not going to wow the examiner, so let's improve it. The easiest way to add extra information to a simple answer is to include an explanation. Connective words like because are ideal for this. I socialise with friends most evenings after work and at weekends because I live on my own, which often gets me down. Going out with friends or having them round means I don't feel so lonely. Another simple way to extend your answer is to join two pieces of information with the word and. During the week, I generally meet up with friends two evenings after work and on Saturdays I go shopping with my best friend. Sundays I save for seeing my family. A great way to develop your answers in IELTS Speaking Part 1 is to add an example. I usually see my closest friends several times a week. Like this week, I'm meeting my best friend for a drink this evening, then we're going to the cinema with some girls from work on Friday, and on Saturday we're all meeting up at a party. Words expressing frequency are also invaluable for developing answers. Common words include always, usually, normally, generally, often, frequently, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, hardly ever, rarely and never. Here's just one way you could use some of these words in your answer. I normally see friends most days of the week, especially my best friend who I generally catch up with after work. At the weekends a group of us often go to the park to play football or chill out. Connectives that express contrast are equally useful for extending answers. For example, but, although, however, even though, despite and while. Connectives are easy to use to join two sentences and many can also be used to start a sentence. I try to meet up with friends several times a week, but rarely on a Sunday, because that's when I visit my family. However, every few months I cook a barbecue Sunday lunch and invite both my friends and family around. Sometimes in IELTS Speaking Part 1, you'll want to compare the present situation to what happened in the past. The phrase used to is useful here. I used to socialise with my friends every day. I don't see them so often now that I have a baby and can't go out in the evening so much. We'll probably meet up just a few times a month now. Finally, there'll be times when you want to make a comparison between what happens now and what you think will happen in the future, or what you want or intend to do in the future. Currently, I hardly see my friends at all, as I spend all my spare time studying for my IELTS exam. When I pass the exam, I'll meet up with my mates most evenings, like I used to do, 
and spend weekends with them as well. If you're able to use these final two methods of extending your part one answers, you'll be using past, present and future tenses, which will show the examiner that you have a good breadth of grammar skills. This will earn you valuable marks. Use these seven methods to create your own answers to the question, how often do you socialise with friends? Also try the methods with other part one questions as well. You'll soon get a good feel for which methods work best with specific types of question. I've included lots of IELTS style part one questions on the website. The topic vocabulary pages all have them. And be sure to download my free IELTS speaking practice cards, which include 120 part one questions. You'll find links to both these resources below this video. It's only by practicing your speaking skills that your English will improve and your confidence grow. Put in the work now and getting a high score for IELTS part one speaking is very achievable. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one.